It sounds like the Hawks might be starting over, guys. You That's what I want to hear. All right, bro. So what's your thoughts let's, on them? Let's talk about trading both. Reports are surfacing. Let's hear the report. I want to hear the report. Yeah. I want to hear the report. I want to hear the Tyler and, report. And then we want to hear <laughs> your response because we're done. You we're say done. A, oh, boy. Oh, they got the, the, they got the whole tweet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Put that tweet up. Appreciate that. Way reports to put that tweet up. Reports are surfacing up. that the Atlanta Hawks might be looking to move on from both Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. So some people seem to think both these guys getting traded, as uh, the thing I've heard from different people that don't know each other, who know things, are just Ooh. like, you know what, we've got the number one pick. This didn't work. We got to the conference finals that one time. Let's just try to blow this up. I'll put the question to you guys. No, uh, no, 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 you. Fuck that. So, okay, how do you feel this about your team. that? How do you feel about that quote, Mr. ATL? I don't like it. Why not? I don't like it Why because not? it sounds nice in theory. To just say, okay, just trade them both. We'll get a bunch of draft picks, and we'll draft a bunch of all stars like Oklahoma City. And in a couple of years, we'll be Oklahoma City or one of these young teams. But it's a lot of teams. The Detroit Pistons tried that, and they are ass right now. <laughs> the Magic did that for a year. Like Dwight Howard left the Magic a long time ago. They was ass for a long time before they got Paolo, before they got Franz. So it's no guarantee you trade these guys and just hit pick after pick after pick, and you just back in the mix. So I could see trading one. I don't think I would trade. I don't think I'd trade both. I I think the way their contracts are set, they can't trade for picks. They got to get some real bodies up in there. So y'all can trade for some real players. Y'all can get some players that can really impact y'all that can go with the number one pick. So don't like, I ain't like y'all not getting nothing back. I'm going to get some picks. Don't get me wrong. But y'all got to get some real bodies back. I think uh, um, Trey Young is super max, right? Yeah, he's making, I think, 40-plus. So he had 40-plus. Mm. I think Murray's at like 35, 40. He's so 30. I don't care what draft pick you put on there. You got to really match money for money. And I mean, you could do like expiring contracts. I mean, a lot can, of guys, like, yeah, so saying, they'll so buy him out. I mean, you can get them, that type of stuff. Fans, but, but I think mm. with one of those, at least one of those guys, you got to get something back meaningful. Like, you got to mm. get a star player or two to come back to go with the number one pick. I don't know who y'all going to pick up her, like SARS or Bronny James, Junior. Well, I haven't heard that. <laughs> one, so, uh, <laughs> I think it's between those two guys. <laughs> between Brian and uh, uh, No, but you know, whoever they get is going to be a project. He's not right. going to be somebody that's going to be so made where he's coming from that he can come over to this league and dominate. And dominate like, this yeah. is the best league in the world. It's tough. These guys can play. They get it. And they, they you know, and, they, and when you see a lamb come out like these guys who don't really understand the game yet, you're almost putting them out there to slaughter sometimes against these guys at first until they figure it out. Ready. Until yeah. they figure it out. So mm -hmm. I don't think they got a ready-made player like Wimp, like Wimp Wamba Wamba in my Rasheed voice that's coming that's just like, okay, he's he, he's going to be the next one. So right. you got to bring in some pieces, some great guys that can play, and then you bring in whoever you draft, Ronnie James or whoever y'all was talking about. Yeah. Um, you, you bring them in, and then you, know, you can start over that way. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, I, I like what he's saying as far as like, all right, let's blow this up. Like, like let's let's come with a whole new karma. It's like, you know, what some people believe that, uh, you know, if you if you got dreads and, you know, they believe in karma, it's like, oh, man, I've been having a lot of bad luck, bad karma. Let me cut my dreads Time's off right and grow them back. Well, I think that's probably what he's talking about doing here with y'all. Um, Let's blow this up. We tried. We tried to go to young team. We tried to break over the last few years uh, with Trey, John, and, and the picks that they had, and a couple mm -hmm. people coming in from trades. Yeah, we tried this young stuff. It didn't work out for us. So look, let's let's start with this. <laughs> We're gonna come with a whole new sheet on the motherfucker. <laughs> what what was that? <laughs> yeah, we, I'm taking a new, whole new sheet. Let's let's get that sheet off the billboard right there. <laughs> let's take that up. We're gonna come with a whole new white sheet. And going to come with some draft picks. Yeah, we're going to get rid of both of them. So we're getting rid of both of them. One, as you said, you got to match the money. So mm -hmm. that means we're going to get at least a couple of guys in here who either mm -hmm. want, it's going to be one person to match trade money or at least, you know, two couple or three guys, people. Yeah, so one expiring. the way that the Hawks are talking right here, what I'm, what I'm picking up from this is somehow, some way on either draft night, it's going to be like a one of those two or three or maybe four team trades because now we talking about a lot of money now mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and as we always say that money got to it got to add up on both make ends sense. so mm -hmm. make sense. we could we could see multiple teams mm -hmm. up in this trade if they talking about getting rid of both of them yeah 100%. yeah that okay so would y'all entertain trading both of them yeah Why i would not? do one. Oh man I would, uh, for me, it would be Trey because that's the bigger contract. 
That's who you, you know, trade or that's who you keep? No, that's who I would trade. You would trade because trade. it's the bigger contract. I could possibly get more for him. He's he's bigger trade bait. Because but, then other than uh uh Deontay, because uh, Deontay he is yeah, up and coming. Yeah. I haven't super maxed him yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you gotta understand, see, when they talk about trading both of them. It's something internally that we're not privy oh, to. Oh, no, yeah, that I know, and, yeah, and it, for it, sure. And they could just be off of them. Like, man, these ain't our, you know what I mean? For like, sure. It's trying to move, it's trying to move past these guys. But no, I'm, I'm saying if, that. I, if I was GM, I got to keep one of them. Why do you have to keep one of them? Well, You're well, trying to tell me you can't find another guard that can shoot volume shots and give you 20 a night. Well, I'm, I'm saying it's that easy to find. I'm saying it's for the simple Trade fact I, got, I don't have to find though. another one. I got one of them right here. So for me, like I said, if I was GM, I would trade Trey for the simple fact it's bigger trade bait. So who? So hold on, who do you think more important between them two? Like if you just were trying to get rid of one of them, you'll give a rid of Trey over Dejounte. Yeah, because Dejounte, he's he's younger, he's just as exciting. How is he younger? The same Not Trey age. younger than Dejounte. Well, younger. He... Well, I mean, no, he shit. I can't tell from the way they fucking play with the energy. <laughs> Man, Trey gave me thirty and ten. True. That's why he's my trade bait, Bonzi. Dejounte, like you just said, he he gonna give you twenty something. They 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 market is probably similar. But, but he's coming up. But get I can get at least two or three people for trade that could help me get over that next hump. You know, to the point where okay, yeah. And I'm not saying that you know all oh, trade garbage and this and that. No, yeah, like you say, he's giving you thirty and ten a night. Yeah, that's that's gravy numbers right there. Sure, but you think? That's my that's the biggest trade bait though. So now I can offer this to these teams because now again, I could pull one person from this team and now you know because you know how them GMs talk. They all yeah. on that buddy buddy yeah. system. I do a favor for you now with this trade. If down the I line you do back, me yeah. one, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Scratch my back, I scratch yours. So with me, I'm gonna get rid of trade because it's it's just bigger trade bait. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm arguing with y'all. I don't even give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, his, that's it, it ain't team. our why, team. Well, that's his team. That's yeah, his yeah, team. You said so, trade both. Why not? Because yeah, you don't want to end up like the Pistons. Oh, why? Why no. you look at him when you say the Pistons? I don't know. They ain't the shit. My good. team is the Sixers. You don't want to end up like them. They had a bunch of number one picks. You don't want to well, end, end up like uh, we better than y'all. That's why. You, why you deflecting? You are fucking crazy. No, I'm saying, listen, tanking one don't worry. You can do the whole process like the Sixers and end up with no conference finals. Like, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. so it's no guarantee. Man, wow. You should. can tank again like the Pistons, and your your uh, percentage go down. You're supposed to get the number one pick. Man, yeah, no, you're trying to get, get personal. Well, you're getting you personal. Get the fourth pick. I mean, I mean, I was mad because the Atlanta team is shitty. It ain't my fault. Why did he get personal with you? Oh, I'm just pointing out my fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he picked shitty the Atlanta team. Uh, man, this yeah. man crazy. I'm just saying the Hawks been to the conference finals twice since the Sixers. And done what? Did help the other help play? help the other team get to the finals. I mean, had the MVP though. That's, that's tough to do with the MVP. Man, hold it. Are y'all arguing? Y'all okay? No, I ain't I'm no not argue. Here to argue. I don't need we to just, argue. This is Me team. argue about a Hawks team? <laughs> so, so who if you had to trade one? Oh, Murray got to go. Why? I think, I mean, I just think Trey a better player. He he he, he a better team guy than Deontay. Deontay is out there trying to get buckets. He's out there going hard. He's kind of like a. Uh, and Trey not out there trying to get say, buckets. Yeah, no, no, no. Trey, Trey is, but at least he's gonna give you ten assists. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> you know, so even with the defensive difference between the two. I mean, who are they really locking up though? Dejounte Murray yeah, getting some steals, yeah, and he he'll get some steals and all that type of stuff. But he just trying to search for buckets. He ain't really never trying to set nobody up. He's not really trying to play the true point guard role. He's want to be. He's Iverson. Well, I feel like he showed that more when Trey was out because that's yeah, when they was playing. He, he did he show was doing us, it more. That's so he made his name. Well, I was say, a, so I wonder is he there a more side of that? that was, but when yeah. Trey come back, he go right back into I just want to score, score, score. So, I mean, I like Trey as a point guard. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been watching him since you know he was playing for Mo Cannon at the EYBL. Yeah, I'm about to say Nike you camps. You know, Nike camps, and you know what I'm saying. Then you see him in, the, in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't you know see him in the pros. He's been just a consistent point guard. You know, they asked him to score because in a situation he got to score. But I think he would prefer True. to be more point guard than be just score, score, score. Hmm. So it, I thought you would pick DeJounte because the defensive difference. But you don't think it's that much of a... No, I can get more for Trey. I can, I can get a defender, uh, no matter if it's post or wing, you know, amongst this day and age, yeah. um, if you want to call the defense. But I can get that. In the, in the trade, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, if you're thinking at it again from the money side, 
well, shit, we got to pay Trey all this motherfucking bread, so that means we can't get nobody to come because we got to pay him and can't really afford to pay no other big-time player, but we get rid of him. That's bigger trade bait. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you could, it might be a trade <clears throat> for trade as far as if you making that 40, I'm making that 40, all right, let's go ahead and swap that player, or it could be other teams coming in with yeah, multiple players, player. you know, going around the room. 